Hello, welcome back to the Guardian Talking Points. German football here for you. We'll be looking back at some big fixtures, of course, an in-depth look at the Klassiker Bayern beating Dortmund in what was a fantastic game, and then a preview of the hottest three games of the weekend. You can skip straight forward to any of these, and don't forget to subscribe up there. While there's no doubt anymore, Borussia Mönchengladbach are the real deal this season. They beat Hoffenheim 3-1, Lucien Favre, the Swiss manager, got a lovely happy birthday song from the crowd and it's now 17 games unbeaten, a record that hadn't been broken since 1970-71 for the Foles. They're second with Wolfsburg on goal difference and if the likes of Hahn and Hermann, who scored a brace, keep going like that, would we'll be actually seeing them as serious contenders for Bayern maybe. Hamburger's foul against Leverkusen was a battle dressed up as a football game. It was the foulest game of the season so far. 50 fouls, 27 of which were committed by Hamburg. Again, a new record for the season. Well, in the midst of all the fouling, there was also a bit of football. Rafael van der Vaart scoring the only goal and only Hamburg's fourth goal of the season to give them vital three points. Leverkusen's manager, Roger Schmidt, not best pleased, saying this was a witch hunt. And of course, he was pointing to the very very frosty reception for Hakan Shalonoglu, who had left from Hamburg to Leverkusen and left with a bit of a bad lingering taste in everybody's mouth. Stuttgart manager Armin Fehr was wearing the exact same outfit he had worn in the 5-4 win against Frankfurt, but unfortunately the result was very different this time. Wolfsburg beat the Swabians 4-0 in Stuttgart to stay in contention with Bayern and administer a very heavy defeat that has a lot of people wondering if Maybe Stuttgart would be the next big name dragged into the relegation battle. Kevin De Bruyne had another fantastic game. Perisic scored two goals. And Dieter Hacking, the Wolfsburg coach, said there's no reason why clubs should already raise the white flag. Bayern, he says, can be beaten and he will try very hard to make it happen. Well, 208 of 209 FIFA accredited nation broadcast this game. North Korea missed out though because it was a fantastic occasion Bayern beating Dortmund 2-1 in what was easily one of the most exciting games the Bundesliga has seen this season. Maybe the whole of Europe hasn't seen any better game. Dortmund took a great start with Marco Reus, he of the love triangle between Karl-Heinz Rummenigge and Hans-Joachim Watzke, scored a slightly deflected header from a great counter-attacking move, but Bayern struck back through, yes of course, Robert Lewandowski, the former Borussia striker, before Ian Robben converted a penalty late on to administer yet another defeat for Dortmund. The visitors left Munich with their heads held a little bit higher, but again after a great performance, nothing really to show for it. Jurgen Klopp was very touchy afterwards. He accused the TV interview of being insensitive when he asked about Marco Royce's future, a future that is still very much in doubt after the player himself refused to tie himself or to commit to a future in black and yellow, saying that he's not thinking about these things at the moment. We expect a decision to be made in the winter, maybe when Uli Hoeneß has more time to talk about this matter because he'll be allowed out of prison during daytime very soon. Sunday sees the battle of the two Borussias. The very much embattled Borussia Dortmund in a relegation spot for the first time since getting relegated all those years ago against the high-flying Foles, mixed metaphor alert, from Lucien Favre, who are third and could be second if they'd scored one more goal against Hoffenheim last week. Couldn't be a more contrasting season for either of the side and Lucien Favre's counter-attacking team is exactly the kind of team that Dortmund don't like to play against. They will try to do to Dortmund what Dortmund tend to do to other sides. A real crunch game especially for Klopp who needs to show that he can actually turn it around and also get results. Despite the better performances they haven't been able to put more points on the board. Real killer game that. 7th against 10th isn't exactly a mouth-watering fixture, but if I tell you that Paderborn are 7th and Augsburg are 10th, you might appreciate just what an outstanding achievement that is for both sides. And the Breitenreiters boys keep confounding expectations. They beat Hertha 3-1, another win against Augsburg, and they're in the Europa League spots proper in what is turning into a fantastic first season in the top flight. New coach Joe Zinbau was rewarded with a 2017 deal and Tim Power looks like it might be starting to kick in for Hamburg. Away to Wolfsburg, they have a chance that the recent 1-0 win over Leverkusen 
wasn't just a flash in the pan, but scoring might be an issue for them. They've only scored four in the whole season, whereas Wolfsburg are the second best attacking side in the Bundesliga with 20 goals. Should be a real nice Northern Derby there. Well, that's it for today, but I'm back next week on Monday. And if you want more football, check out my good friends Julien Laurent on French football, James Horncastle on Italy, and Andy Brassel on Spain. And don't forget to subscribe for all this lovely football talking points from Europe. See you soon.